Uh, hi, uh, thank you for all you do. Um, I love to get a peek behind the scenes. So, um, if you could um, say we missed the, the resupply in Grand Turk, is there a logistics that you guys are going through in order to replace that resupply when we get to Half Moon P? Um, and then I have a couple more questions. But that's it. Well, most, we missed out on like 50 more drums of caveat sauce. <laughs> <laughs> so that's running a little low. For most of that, it's um, we have no direct hand in the ship operations, and I believe that they put most, if not all, of everything they need in Fort Lauderdale for a seven-night voyage. So for us, most of it was scheduling uh, and working with the ship staff because they, they work out the hours for everybody in a way that works. But a lot of that's sort of invisible to us. Yeah, I mean, we, we have no particular insight into what the ship does bring on in, in ports. But I, I, they obviously, they deal with it a lot. Uh, and I'm sure they have a, you know, complex backups in place. And especially as our itinerary as a charter is different from the normal set of night uh, turns that this ship is doing, I don't believe that they really would get anything other than sort of emergency supplies, uh, or, or act, you know, oh, we want a, one special bottle of vodka for somewhere or something. But I don't, I don't believe they do it special, uh, not vodka. Uh, I don't believe that they do a lot of loading at the ports of call, uh, but I actually, I will, I will ask after that. Um, yeah, I'm curious. What's up? Yeah. good to know. And uh, how goes the negotiations for where will we quarantine when we get back to land? <laughs> It's going in complicated. <laughs> at this point in time, we have no information that leads us to believe that will be a thing. There's still time. <laughs> There's still time. Caveats all. Caveats all. Dr. 